Hello, welcome to Cornfield Academy School Report. Today is Thursday 10th of March 2016 and we have three major headlines for you. We will be reporting our International Women's Day, Women's Day, whether rugby should be banned or not, and finally our local news about the 500 mile challenge for Sports Relief Day. I will now be ha handing over to Sophia. On Tuesday the 8th March, many people celebrated International Women's Day, which is now in its 25th year. This day is important as it allows us to celebrate the act of courage and determination that have been achieved by ordinary women. One such example is Malala Yousafzai, an extraordinary young lady who has been an inspiration to many, but in particular for Muslim women across the world. Malala is only 18, but has already achieved a great ideal for the right of women. Another notable female who has also helped to celebrate International Women's Day is Emma Watson. She is a role to many young females, mainly due to her success in the Harry Potter films. Now I am going to hand over to Erin and Alicia to speak to some teachers about their views. How inspirational do you think Malala is? I think Malala has been a phenomenal inspiration for women all around the world because she's raised awareness of the issues in Afghanistan about education for women and I think that's caused a lot of people to think very carefully about how we take education for granted in some of the westernised countries. So I think her inspiration has been very uh, inspirational worldwide. Who inspires you? Hmm. Well, I think the two most inspirational people in my life have been past teachers that I've had. I was very lucky in primary school to have a very inspirational teacher called Mrs. D Driver, Diver, I think she was called Mrs. Diver now I think about it. And she was just a phenomenal teacher in that she was really good and really passionate about her subject and that inspired me to become a teacher and I was very lucky in secondary school having um, a very good history teacher who inspired passion in history um, within me. So I've been very lucky in that I've been inspired by two very passionate women teachers and that's obviously inspired me to become a passionate teacher. What's your thoughts about International Women's Day? Right, International Women's Day, obviously it's very important uh, that there is a day dedicated for the hard work and effort that women put in. Um, the hard work, courage and dedication they show. Different cultures, and some cultures, don't recognise that. I think it's important worldwide that that is recognised. In terms of the role models, Malala and Marie Curie are great role models. Also, women themselves, what they put into the world is amazing in terms of the family, in terms of the work they do, not just for their own family, but for the worldwide family. Worldwide family in terms of religion, science, politics, health. All of those things would be adversely affected if we didn't have women taking part. Do you think this day is a good idea? Yes, it's a massively great idea. If we didn't have that Women's Day, it's very important, obviously, that that shows everything that women do in the world today. Thank you, Mr Bennett. Now back to Charlie. It has been recently reported there are a number of doctors who are opposed to the sport of rugby being played in schools. As many as 70 out of 100 doctors want to stop physical contact while playing the sport. This is because of an estimated 28% of teens between age of 14 and 17 will get an injury such as a fracture or dislocation. Now I'll pass you over to Tom and Ali who are interviewing our own CP English teacher Mr Curtis as well as Lewis who is a year 10 student and rugby player. Great. Lewis, what do you find interesting about rugby? Well, a very good question, Ali. I enjoy the bonding between fellow players and satisfaction of teamwork to score against our opponents. I also enjoy the competitivism between two teams, whether that be friendly or rivalry. What do you think about rugby tackling being banned in schools? No, I believe it should not, as it encourages strength and fitness. It also encourages friendly competitivism and bonding within a group. Also, it's a safe, enjoyable sport that all people, people of all sorts can take part in. Mr Curtis, what do you think about rugby tackles being banned in school? I think that banning rugby uh, in schools is, is ridiculous. Um, particularly this idea about banning tackling, because tackling is a key part of the game. 
If you, if you take away tackling from rugby, what will happen is that young people won't learn how to tackle in a safe environment and grow up doing it. What will happen is by the time they get to 16, 17, 18, maybe when they're shifting uh, into the game and uh, pushing it out and tackling properly, they'll find that actually they'll have poor technique, they'll be new to this skill, uh, and, it, and it'll result in more injuries when you've got someone who's like 10, 11, 12 stone running at you rather than when they're really quite small and they can learn the technique. I think it's misguided, I think it's wrong. It's, it's not something uh, that, sh that should be going on at all. It's political correctness gone bonkers. Um, you know, it's a, it's a game. There are, lots of, there are lots of games that have got risk, but if kids don't have risk, if kids don't take a risk in a controlled environment like that, then, you know, what's the point of existing? You might as well have swings in the park because we just fall off them, couldn't you? But, you know, you've, you've got to make sure that it's done properly. People are educated about how to tackle. Uh, and if that's done in, 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 a, in conditions where you've got qualified coaches, I think, it's, I think there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Mr Curtis, what would TD support and what you find interesting about rugby? Well, I support Halifax Rugby League football team. Uh, unfortunately, it's not my choice. My granddad used to be a coach way back in the 50s and I've grown up uh, supporting that rugby club. Uh, but I've grown up in a rugby environment and I've, uh, you know, I've, I've played for many, many years until I got too old and my knees are all busted up. But um, uh, yeah, I'm a season ticket holder, I still go and watch, uh, watch my team Halifax. Um, rugby league, a bit different to rugby union, there's a split there. There's a class issue going on there as well with your rugby league working class in the north and you've got your uh, four-wheel drive Mercedes type brigade of uh, rugby union uh, around the rest of the country and I'd nail my uh, colours fail into the master of rugby league. But um, I enjoy it, I still go and watch it, I'd love to be able to play. Um, but hopefully I might see my girls playing some girls rugby when they get a little bit older. Thank you, Lewis and Mr Curtis. We'll now pass you back to the, the newsroom for the next story. At Compram Academy, we are proud to be joining in a national charity event in raising money for sport relief. A part of this, we will be encouraging both staff and students to take part in the 15 500 mile challenge. Our aim is for us to be able to cover the distance in just one week. In order to do this, we will use pedometers and record this on a distance sheet. Hopefully, working as a team, we will achieve this 500 mile goal. On Friday, the 18th March, we will also be holding a non uniform day with a small cost of £1. This will be, be a fun event in which everyone can participate. We will now speak to Mrs. Driver to find out some more about the challenge. I am now going to speak to Mrs. Driver and Harry to find out their opinion on the challenge. Why, in your opinion, is it important for us to raise money for sport relief? I think it's really important to raise money for sport relief because there's a lot of people out there in the world, in the UK and worldwide, that are very underprivileged and any little thing we can do to help them, to help them in their day-to-day -day lives and be as fortunate as we are, is very worthwhile. Which charities will we be donating to and will it have an impact on them? Um, all the money is going to Sport Relief, so we will send that to Sport Relief and they actually distribute to any worthwhile areas um, over the UK and worldwide. I do think it will have a big impact because um, if you go on the Sport Relief website you see loads of examples of this where you see direct um, things that have happened because of the money that you've raised, for example, people having shelter for the homeless, people being provided with food, um, but there's loads of different things and it definitely does make an impact, every little thing that everybody does. Are you doing anything special in your PE lessons? Yes, PE lessons will be very different next week. Um, every single lesson we will be clocking up steps or um, kilometres, metres in everything that you do. So we'll be doing some different fun activities, so that's going to involve different relay races, anything to try and clock up as many steps as we can during the lesson. We'll also be asking for people to do walks and runs um, in lessons and also out of lesson as well. Harry, do you think the 500 mile goal is achievable? Yeah, I think if everyone tries hard enough and puts their mind to it, everyone will be definitely be able to achieve the goal of 500 miles. Will you be taking the uh, part in the challenge yourself? Uh, yeah, I've downloaded the app already. I think that taking part will be very fun. And the money that we raise will be going to a good cause. What do you think of the challenge yourself? I think that the challenge is really good and it will inspire people to help raise money for the cause. 
I will now hand back to Marcy in the newsroom. Thank you for watching our school report. More news coming from Cornfield Academy at the same time next year.